Yo, what's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and I am stoked. I'm just in like one of those super good moods because in a couple hours, me and Sarah, we're gonna go up north. We're gonna go shrimping and we've got all kinds of good stuff planned. And yesterday, whenever I was up at the Kent Cartridge Factory in West Virginia, I pulled a case of steel dove load right off the factory line. I signed it. Um, Charity, the girl who was working there, she signed it and I promised I would give it away. Well, we have drawn a name and I know who the winner is, but I'm not gonna announce it for just a few more minutes. But today's video is about kingfish. And if you live here in South Florida, you're probably like, yeah, kingfish, they're not the hardest fish in the world to catch if you have a boat and you know how to catch live bait. But you know what, what an amazing fish. They jump out of the water, they have gnarly oh, teeth, they pull so hard. And if you take care of them, they are amazing to eat. Now, a couple weeks ago, I had some fans come in from Houston, Texas. We had a great time, but I couldn't show you all the footage of the fish that they caught and the craziness that ensued. I mean, this was insane. So let's go out, catch some kingfish, then we're gonna clean it up, and then I'm gonna show you a way to take your kingfish and turn it into absolute magic. Your friends are gonna walk into your house like this, and they're gonna take one bite of your fish and they're gonna go, wow, that's good. <laughs> nice fish, probably a cobia. Did he break you off? Yeah. Oh, it's a remora. All sneaker head. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Give me a hickey. <laughs> We're depending on you, bud. <laughs> oh, man. You just got eight. Just got eight. Yeah. Homeboy was like, ow. <laughs> this is the fish you want right here. Get him up. Fighting like a big, big, big cobia. You got him coming. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Big cobia, big cobia. Go ahead. That was a huge, huge cobia. Reel down to him, reel down to him. There you go. King mackerel. All right, we have something to cook. That's a fact. So if you had one word to describe today's fishing, what would you say it is? Fun. Rudge it down nice and low. Nice fish, dude. Reel down to him, reel down to him. <laughs> There's that big old giant smoker kingfish. And congratulations to Daniel. This was a great fish and I'm proud you caught it. Now let's clean it. We're gonna brine it and then we're gonna smoke it. First things first, let's get a good fillet. Take this knife, cut right up into the head. I know I've said this a few times before, but that silver stag fillet knife is pretty much as good as you're gonna get. With a big fish like this, you know, it's gonna have a big fillet where you don't wanna deal with, you know, gigantic piece of meat. Make your first cut just like that. Turn your knife over and run it right down to the backbone. And we'll make this one nice clean cut. You can see that bone, that's your center line. And follow this right down the center of your fish. Just like that. 
and watch what happens. It comes right off. Now you have a beautiful piece of meat. Good. See, that's a piece of that kingfish right there. It's nice and cool, filleted out, the bloodline and the bones are trimmed off. And if we're gonna smoke it tomorrow, we need to make it, we need it to absorb the flavor in brine. So what we wanna do, we wanna add salt, a lot of salt. Yeah, we've gone that far. Let's just put a whole box in there. See if it floats. Floats. It's not floating all. Yep, see it's floating. See the, the fish? Now, once your fish floats in the salt, you know you've got enough salt. Let's bring this out. Mm -hmm. In a brine this size, I'm going to add. One tub of honey, like that. Now, I don't know about you, but I straight up love honey. After the honey, I'm gonna add two pounds of light brown sugar. Just like that. Then, we'll take vanilla extract. About that much. As you can tell, I'm very specific on how much I use. And I'm sorry I'm wearing these stupid looking glasses, but I lost my other ones. Now, now I've got our kingfish in these two gallon Ziploc bags. What we're gonna do, because I don't wanna put everything in the bucket, because I need it to stay cold, take a coffee mug and I'm just gonna Zip it down to where there's just a little opening, and then you let all the air find its way right up to the top, just like that. Now, that's all brining. See that? That's all that love and goodness, just falling in love. I mean, that's like a happy love potion if I've ever seen it. Then, I'm gonna do the same thing with those two, I'm going to go lay these in a cooler full of ice. I will see you tomorrow morning. All right, you guys, so we gave this two days in the brine. I've got three of these bags, but I'm going to start with just one. Watch this. It's got a nice, firm feel to it. That's what the salt and the brown sugar and the vanilla, that's what it does. Then the honey just gives it that beautiful, sweet flavor. This is my Bradley smoker. This thing is money. It's all digital. You can just touch how long you want it, what temperature you want it, then it's got two probes that tell you how you're doing. These are little non-stick mats. You throw them in there and take your fish, set that fish on there, and you can just use it like a little puzzle, just however you want. We're gonna load it up. Little Everglades heat. You just want to, uh, my bro Joey Haluska, when he does this, he puts actual cayenne pepper on the, on the fish. I ain't, I ain't down with the cayenne pepper. I will use a little heat though. These things will be falling in love before you know it. Set that. Get mine there. Oof. All right, so there's all of our fish. I've got one probe up top, one down in the bottom, and uh, both of the probes are in thick pieces of fish. Shut it up. 
and now I ain't got to worry about it. This smoker smokes at a low heat, so it's not going to burn these briquettes. It's just going to cause them to smoke. See, if it turns them into complete ash, they become acidic, and then that smoke becomes too harsh, and as you eat the food, you keep burping the, burp, the, uh, the smoky flavor, which is what I am not into. So as this heats up these briquettes, it'll push them out into water, and then they stop smoking. We're not trying to burn them. We're just trying to cause them to smoke. Now this thing will do the rest for the next four hours. Keep going, oh yeah, I got it. Look at her. Is that not the cutest thing in the entire world? Okay, put it down now. Oh, ja, 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 ja. oh and she's nibbling me on the ear. <laughs> she's nibbling me on the ear. Rob's gonna have a pierce here by the time he's done with her. Put her down, Robert. No, she's the coolest little thing in the world. She loves me. Drop a big thumbs up if you think Kia is the coolest animal in the whole world. Yes. Go catch a fish, okay? All right, y'all, here we go. Life is good. Look at her, she's like, what am I smell? Dude! Look how sweet that looks. Okay, I just gotta check this out. It should peel right off the skin, just like that. And then when you peel it, it should have that nice flake. That's what you're looking for, that's perfect. Dude, give me the camera. Do you like smoked fish? Absolutely. Taste, taste that. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, how old are you, Austin? 23. 23? This here's Austin Crocker. He's a hard working, good looking dude. 23 years old, got a great job here on Deer Meat for Dinner. And uh, he's newly single, so ladies, <laughs> hit him up on Instagram. It's in Austin Crocker. Everyone's looking for that honest, hard working, loyal, good looking dude. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, honey? Hey, he was telling the truth. We all love Austin. Who wants to know? Who won the ammo? I promise you I'd tell you. Now I will. Uh, your name is, the lucky winner is, where is it? It's on here somewhere. It's in the great state of California. Someone from the great state of California won. Could it be you? Oh! It's in zip code 91789. Oh! Nerves it down! Mr. Ivan Fong, you won. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the local Turner's Outdoors in that area. I'm actually gonna be calling you on your cell phone shortly to explain all this to you. But you're gonna go to the Turner Outdoors, go back and uh, talk to someone at customer service and tell them like, yo, I'm Ivan Fong. I'm the one who won the ammo that Deer Meat for Dinner and Kent Cartridge gave away. You guys rock. Now, let's get to cooking. Oh, look at all the flavor. Happy people, happy people. Make sure your blade is slightly wet so that it slides through the fish and then support it. Look how that, oh my goodness, that looks so perfect. A sharp knife is mandatory when doing this. Don't try to cut it so thin like a paper because you want your meat to be thick enough that you really, really get to taste that flavor. That is French brie. I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle. You don't even need to warm this up. Got your crackers. I'm gonna put, ooh, look at that. It's so gooey, it's just sticking to the cutting board. I'm gonna put that right on that cracker. Like my mouth is watering so bad right now, I can't hardly even talk. Brie. And then, ooh, right on top. Nice piece of smoked kingfish. Just a touch of basil. Touch of basil and put right on top there, just like that. See this stuff right here? I'm pretty for sure they made it in heaven. When I was in West Virginia at Jeff Berry's house and his wife Cassie, she is an insane chef. That is pineapple habanero 
jelly. And whenever it, she had it on a dish there, I was like, oh my God, this might be the best thing I've ever put in my mouth in my whole life. She came out and she gave me a jar of it. I brought it home. And while on the plane flying home, I thought about this recipe. So that jelly right there, mm -mm, good. Do not drool on your computer because I'm not liable if you do. Oh. Check it out. Right there, that's flying fish eggs. We're gonna put some flying fish eggs right on top. Good, fresh, flying fish eggs. <whistles> Look at that. I mean, I don't even know if you can. <laughs> mm. That's a meal, man. That ain't an hors d'oeuvre. That ain't an appetizer. That is amazing. I wish I could give it to you. I wish you were like knocking on the door right now. I'd be like, hey, what's up here? But uh, either way, I love you guys and gals and everyone out there. And I appreciate you. Everybody over there in Houston, you guys rock. And I'm glad you were able to come out and fish with me. Jeff and Cassie, thank you for the jelly. It's amazing. Mmm. Well, we don't.